Welcome back everyone. Today on the channel we are talking about plane wrecks. On the very, very rare occurrence of a plane actually crashing, the wreckage will usually be cleared up out of sight pretty quickly. Sometimes though, for a number of different reasons, the twisted metal of a plane wreck is just left behind. Why does this happen? What does it usually look like? Here are the 10 most famous examples. My name is Danny Burke and this is the top 10 creepy plane wreck sites. Starting off at number 10 now, we have Solheim Asander. That's the place on the south coast of Iceland where a US Navy plane crashed in 1973. It ran out of fuel and the pilot had to perform an emergency landing. They later learned the pilot had just switched to the wrong fuel tank. Fortunately though, everyone on board survived. The fuselage of the plane is still there though, sitting on the black Icelandic sands. It's a very haunting sight to see. Officials have actually banned cars from driving to it because they keep just getting stuck in the sand. However, if you do fancy a two hour round trip hike in the freezing cold, then this really is a sight to see. Next up at number nine now, we have the Aruba. Deep in the jungle on the Caribbean island of Curaçao lies the wreck of an Air Aruba P4YSA plane. The mangled plane has been slowly swallowed by the jungle there for years now. Here's the strange thing about this plane wreck, nobody actually knows how it got there. You'll see that with the rest of our list, most plane wrecks can be traced back to an event or at least an owner. With this plane though, there is still a lot of debate going on about where it actually came from, who owned it and why it is now lying in the middle of the jungle. Do you guys think there's some sort of sinister story? behind this one. Next up at number 8 now we have the Corsair. In 1948 an American Vought F4U Corsair plane flew out on a routine mission from Pearl Harbor. Yes that Pearl Harbor, but no, it was years after the war had ended. Anyway, the plane suffered a fuel malfunction and the captain was forced to do a water landing. He was able to safely sink the plane and was rescued shortly after. The plane sunk to the bottom of the bay and suffered only minor damage. Today, it sits 150 feet under the water and has become a popular scuba diving attraction. It takes divers about 15 minutes to get down there, but the haunting site is supposed to be totally worth it. Next up at number seven now, we have Lady B. Good. This is the tragic story of the crew of Lady B. Be good, the nickname for an American bombing plane that crashed over Libya during World War II. Officials assumed it had just gone down in the Mediterranean Sea. However, 15 years later, an oil survey in 1958 was taking aerial pictures over Libya when they saw the plane below. It was perfectly preserved in the hot desert sands. The radio and machine gun were actually still working. They searched for the crew but found nothing. Then, two years later, they found the bodies in an area of the desert. Among the items found was the diary of co-pilot Robert Toner, which told the story of the end of the crew's lives. The nine men had all bailed out before the crash, eight of them survived, they walked 85 miles before five gave up and three continued to walk until they too died. Moving on to number six now, we have UTA Flight 772. In 1989, this plane went down in the Sahara Desert on its way from the Republic of Congo to Paris. All 170 people on board were sadly killed. It was later found out that a bomb was the cause of the tragedy. The Sahara Desert is a vast remote place and many of the pieces of the plane simply couldn't be recovered. So there they lay, even today, in the hot Saharan sands. It's difficult to get to it in person, but it is actually visible on Google Earth, as you can see here. Imagine just stumbling across this by accident accident on Google Earth after scrolling through hundreds of miles of sand. You just see this strange, mysterious plane memorial. Alright, next up at number 5 now, we have the Mystery Wreck. That's the name that's been given to a strange, twisted piece of metal suspended in a tree. It was found by locals near Heritage Park in British Columbia, Canada. It appears to be the cockpit roof and possibly a wing of a single-seat airplane. After being examined, it was concluded that the plane dates back to around 1971. All of this raises questions. What happened to this plane? Who owned it? Why has it not been cleaned up yet despite being public knowledge? The mystery wreck has really earned its name. Next to number 4 now we have the B-24 Bomber. During World War II, a B-24 Bomber crashed into a boulder field at Humphreys Peak, the highest point in Arizona, killing 8 of the crew on board. Because of its remoteness, the wreck is actually still there, exactly as the pieces fell almost 75 years ago. However, because of its remoteness, it's also very inaccessible. If you do want to see this shattered creepy World War II plane. It takes a 7 hour hike up to an elevation of around 11,300 feet. Definitely worth it for some people though. At number 3 now we have Flight 260. This plane took off from Albuquerque Airport in 1955. 10 minutes later it had crashed into Sandia Peak, killing the 13 passengers and 3 crew members on board. It was later determined that a failure of the navigational instruments was to blame. The bodies of the people were removed but the wreckage remains. A small sign commemorates the event in the ravine 
between where the wreckage lies. It became a little bit of a tourist attraction over the years, albeit quite a morbid one. Visitors can take a three and a half mile hike through the woods to get to it, or go on the cable car which actually passes right over the wreckage. Next to number two now, we have the Wellington Bomber. In a remote valley in southern France lies a Wellington Bomber from the Royal Air Force that crashed there in 1944. The four British crew members burned alive, even their ID tags had melted. Truly gruesome stuff. These days the valley has a memorial to the crashed bomber. Bits of charred steel, old cloth and rusted bullet casings are all that remain now, along with a plaque to remember the crew that died. And finally number one now we have Atka. The remote Alaskan island of Atka looks like something out of a movie. Among the rolling grass hills lies a sight to behold, an American B-24 bomber. This plane went down during a routine weather reporting mission during World War II. They were actually brought down by bad weather on their weather reporting mission, so I guess that was quite an easy report for them. Thankfully all of them survived, so I don't feel too bad about saying that. The plane sits there to this day, surrounded by grass and very noticeable from miles away. It's actually been on the National Register of Historic Planes since 1979. Alright, we have safely landed at the end of the video. Which one of those was your favourite? Have you guys ever visited a wreckage before, plane or otherwise? How did that make you feel? I know some people find it quite creepy, others find it interesting. What do you think? Thank you as always for watching Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Burke and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>